Billy? What are you doing out here? Um, I haven't had much luck at the racetrack lately. Not the good kind, that's for sure. So I came here to train. Train? Here? You don't know where you are? This is the home of THE Chocobo Sage, a living legend. Surely you've heard of the man. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Did someone say living legend? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you okay, sir? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I am now. Thought I was a goner. Huh? Mind telling me who you are? You don't get many visitors out here in the boonies. In the boonies? Uh, this is Cloud. He's a jockey for Gramps' ranch. Oh, he is, huh? Perfect. Billy here needs some help. You can pick up the poor boy's slack. There's this big race at the saucer, the Gold Cup, and it's coming up soon. We gotta get in on that. Oh, no. So I came here to bone up. I'm learning all sorts of stuff. See? Hey. Tell me you're not buying this choco dung. Picking garbage out of a pool isn't training, it's manual labor. You see it too, right? Uh, what do you make of the situation? The man's not a sage, the sage is the real deal. It is pretty weird. Man's not a sage. Man's not a sage. Well, doy, he's not a sage. Hey! This guy's like the king of the crazy old coots. <laughs> I don't know about Coot, but Gramps did say he was already old when he was young. <laughs> if you can flap your gums, you can move your gams. Now get on back to your training. Sorry. As for you, I know just the thing. One of my chocobos ran off when we put her out to pasture. Need you to find her. Bring her back. You're asking me? Her name is Selena. Ain't your normal chocobo neither. Loves the ocean more than home. The way she makes rolling waves look like solid ground. No wonder she thinks she's the bee's knees. Please, Cloud, would you mind? Just think of it as a favor for me. You've got a gift for wrangling the wild ones. The bird that runs on water? I already found him. There you are, Selena. Well, I underestimated you. Takes real skill to tame this girl. Skills like those of... Hold on. I know this. I do. Why can't I remember? Oh, damn it! This is gonna bother me all day. Oh. Aha! There we go. It was Sam and Will. What? They were far and away my best disciples. As I was saying, you, Cloud, you may well become as talented a trainer as them one day. Did I hear you right? Sam, you gotta tell me everything you know about him. You're gonna give me whiplash, son. <sighs> the Sam guy you taught. You mean Chocobo Sam out of Midgar? I do, but why do you want to know? Because me and him, we got history. You see, I'm Will's son. Well, don't that beat all. I'll never forget those two. They had such a powerful passion and an eagerness to learn, too. Everything they did was for the birds. That's not the Sam I know. Sam's a demon. He led my parents to an early grave. Got them hooked on gambling. Pushed them to rack up tons of debt. And then... Eh, that don't sound like him to me. You sure you ain't got your Sams mixed up? It's a common name, you know. Only one Sam in this business. I swore that I'd humiliate him by winning the gold cup. Destroy his reputation. Then I'd at least have some kind of revenge for what that bastard did to my parents. Hmm. Now that that's out of your system, back to it. Excuse me? You heard me. Thought you came out here to learn about chocobos, not to get revenge. Uh, is that Cloud. his? For your next task, I'll need you to take Selena and gather choco grass, which so happens to grow above bodies of water. You kidding me? 
This fossil's trying to get us to do his dirty work again? <laughs> Choco grass is a genuine panacea. I kid you not. It'll cure whatever ails you, and then some. And once I am cured, maybe I'll be inclined to share more stories about the good old days. <sighs> He's obviously full of it. <laughs> Keep the countdown. Then please do it for me. I need to know what happened to my dad. <sighs> okay. When I said it grows above water, I meant above. It's called the floating flower because it grows in the air. But with an ocean chocobo, you can harvest the stuff with ease. 30 tufts <laughs> ought to do. Best hop to it, Cloud. You don't want my death on your hands, do you? <laughs> that was a hell of a story. <clears throat> I need to collect five more choco grass. Luckily, only five to go. Yo, Ashens, hi, welcome back. Hey, since He's killed you, Bill. Give me the skin. Who's the Sam guy? Big shot in Walmart. Uh huh. So he must be pretty scummy. I don't know. For nail business aside, he didn't strike me as a total asshole. Interesting. Or maybe your powers of perception weren't honed enough to see through his facade. That's gotta be it. Oh, if only I had found you sooner, I could have saved you from your own gullibility. And I'm I'm blown away with this game. The amount of extra story and cutscenes you get. And also you can squirt in this game, so that's also pretty cool. The level of detail as well. <clears throat> That's one. Four more to go. Is it required for squirting? I mean, that's how I'm squirting right now. Asking for you. <laughs> One more to go after this, right? There's one in the distance. Collecting sugar grass, like, right? I don't know who the player hit the game. Good job I was banging into them anywhere. That's a decent amount of choco grass, I suppose. Well, what do you think? Should we take it back to the cave? More yourself! <laughs> From his green. A great friend to more yourself! <laughs> All these money stories. Treasures for Cloud is nice, true. More like pot for the old geezer. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, can't even deny it, can we, at this point? Is that like, you know, loco weed? Man just wants a bit of loco weed. Should I get one more for good luck? There you go, one more for good luck. Should we get another? Welcome back. Get any choco grass? Sage is gonna be real pleased. I bet he is. He's gonna be very oh, pleased. You get your hands on that choco grass. Asking for about the choco grass. We need to know what we're doing with you guys. Some folks also call it the floating flower. Yeah. They don't mean it metaphorically. It really floats above water. Makes it hard to get to. With Selena, though, you'll glide over that water with the greatest of ease. Well, 
Well, well, if it ain't my beloved Choco Grass. This stuff can be one hell of a hassle to gather. Thank goodness I had you to get it for me. Okay, so what are you gonna do with it? <laughs> I suppose you've earned the right to know. First, I take this fluff, mix it with some chocobo feathers, and let it ferment. Once it's dry, I boil it all down. Then I squeeze it all out and voila, my patented choco tincture. That's some kind of magic medicine? Oh no, just a little fun. This wrinkly, cheeky old... Speaking of grass, if you've got some extra tufts on hand, would you mind sharing them with my assistant at the shop? I promise I'll make it worth your while. Please, tell me about my father. Hold your chocobo, son. There's still one thing you need to do for me first. What a surprise. This geezer isn't gonna tell you Jack. Face it, kid. You've got a lot of nerve. Casting aspersions after all the wisdom I've shared. All the what now? <laughs> so you haven't realized you've been training this whole time? Been training? Tracking down Selena forced you to get in touch with the Chocobo's feelings. And all that running across the water you did helped hone your sense of balance and your bird handling. Key skills for any aspiring jockey. What do you say, Cloud? Bet you feel like a real Choco Pro by now. Can't say I do. Sounds to me like you need more training. Reckon we ought to add one more item to your regimen. Think of it as a final trial of sorts. Oh, give me a break. Don't go changing the subject here, Gramps. We're not doing your stupid Oh god, what is he gonna make us do? No, it's fine. I'll do it. Then it's settled. I'll be your opponent. And dear Selena will be your steed. If Cloud wins, does that mean you'll finally tell me about my dad? I feel sorry for Billy. You've got a deal. But know that I won't be pulling any punches out there. Right, Chocobo Sage, Billy's dad. When you're ready, give me a holler and we can hit the track. Complete the final trial. Choco Grass Collector. Oh god. Well, um. I'll show you that. Uh, yeah, this one. Those are rough transferable skills. Hold on. Oh my god. Oh god, we're going in this back, back gate, back, back, back gate, back, back yard, back, back door. Uh -oh. You prepared to undertake the final trial? Sure, let's do it. Undertake zoom to Chocobo. Best time zero 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 zero. Chocobo armband though. All right, I'll try my best. I think I'm good at this, but sure. Oh god. I don't even remember the buttons. It's gonna make my stats equal a, li a little bit if I can, right? Should change colors. <laughs> the red armor, right? Should we go red? Let's go red. Oh, I can't go red on that one though. Rip. Create color set. Uh, uh, what? Pink? Let's go blue. Let's go red there, though. Alright, let's go. It's gonna be so bad at this. View tutorial, sure. Each bird has unique stats. Yeah, okay. Well, that was great. Thank you. Let's try rares. Uh, at... Oh, R2 to drift. All you need, really. Wait, at 2, X hold. Oh, at 2, you hold X for the countdown, right? I'm 
probably gonna try a few times, so. Yeah, yeah easy time to beat, right? Oh no! Oh shit. This is like epic now. Where which way am I going? <laughs> Wait. This is where which way am I going? <laughs> <laughs> fucking Mario Kart, right? Oh! No, oh, you missed it! Oh, no! Move it. Move it or lose it, sister! I put a sprint there. And again, oh no. How many laps are you doing? Three laps. Let's go. Let's go. First try. <laughs> Chocolate arm band, let's go. He's got some spectator cam going on here. Look at this. <laughs> I always well, believed in the arm. Loving feathers. That was one hell of a performance. If I didn't know better, I'd say this wasn't your first rodeo. Surprise. <laughs> Surprise. You got me good. And once you start tearing up the track out there, the racing world will blame me for letting Ooh, you Oh, you got me good there. A promise is a promise, sir. Please tell me more about my dad and Uncle Sam. Hmm. All right, then. What do you want to know? Everything. Let's see. They couldn't have been much older than you are now. The two of them came and asked me to take them under my wing. Turned them down, seeing as I'd already retired. But they hung around the grounds anyway. Since they had nothing better to do, I put them to work. And that's how it all began. What were they doing here? Well, wasn't nothing out of the ordinary, I'd say. Ran some errands, did some repairs, helped around the house. You know, your standard training regimen. And in their downtime, they took it upon themselves to dig through my library, learning about chocobos and how to handle them. Came to differing conclusions. They used to argue something fierce. <laughs> Ashens with that loop to loop maneuver. <laughs> that was funny, actually. I would bet on these races, there was only one race, I think, right? So if I didn't know, then we could have done a bet, but I didn't realize it was coming. I can't say the two of them got on terribly well. I figured. Will and Sam had mighty strong opinions about how to best raise chocobos, and it drove them to fight with their words. And with their fists. That said, the only reason those two fought as hard as they did is because they both cared deeply about the cause. As far as passion is concerned, the two of them were birds of a feather. That sleeve of his is kind of, you know. Hmm. How you feel now? 
Managed to sort out the mess inside? Uh, uh, what do you mean? When we first met, I saw the way your eyes were brimming with anger. I knew right then and there that what you needed wasn't teaching or training. What you needed was time. Time to look deep inside yourself and clear out all the wickedness and spite that have been haunting your heart. Which is why you had him clean out the pool? Exactly. I don't know what happened to your father after he left this place. And I can understand why he'd want to beat old Sam in a race. Few things feel better than sticking it to someone who did you wrong. But that being said, you should never use your birds as tools for revenge. Ask yourself, why did I decide to start raising chocobos? I guess... I guess it's because I saw how happy those birds made my mom and dad. How they'd smile. The chocobos brought us a lot of fun, and brought us together as a family. I guess that's why. Good enough. The why is important, so don't forget yours. I reckon Sam's got his eyes on the gold cup. Keep yours unclouded by hatred, and you'll do fine. Thank you, sir. Thanks for everything. I'm gonna head back to the saucer. Make sure our birds are ready for the big race. Don't worry about putting your name in. I'll take care of it. All you need to do is show up and win. Oh, God. Whoa, holy shit, level 44 now? So many XP for it. And that is the Nibelheim region done right. <clears throat> oh, there's a quest here. Is there? What's this quest over here? It might not be nothing, but... This is Nibel. There's no oh. Might not be nothing, but... Something there. Oh yeah! Oh, this is gonna be Tifa's cat. The darling little cat I feed from time to time hasn't come around for a while, and it's making me sick with worry. I know they can be independent souls, but she's never been the one to turn down a good meal. I have to do this one. I think I think this is suspiciously Tifa's cat. It's gotta be. <clears throat> oh my god, it's in my house though. Oh my god, Cloud's house. Who well, has the best relationship with me? Aerith, Tifa, and Red, I think, at the moment. Yuffie does not, does not at all. Hello, dear. May I help you? <laughs> Just listening. You've got a great voice. Oh, you flatter me. I didn't even know I was doing it. You see, this cat I feed sometimes has gone missing. And when I worry, I cannot help but see. Hey. Sounds like a job for a merc, doesn't it? I really like these, like, personal cutscenes here with Cloud and Tifa. The only thing that's disturbing is the fact that Tifa... Sorry, is the fact that Aerith, Barrett, and Kit and Red are all staring at them in the doorway. And it's so fucking funny to me. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Do you sing often? We'll find you, cat. Well, aren't you the picture of confidence? You wouldn't happen to be a professional feline finder, would you? Not officially, but I've got a good cat catching record. Been doing it since I was a kid. <laughs> I'm Christine, by the way. Chef and chanteuse. You might want to start by looking around the foot of Mount Nebel. She's got the most beautiful snow white coat. Petite little thing, too. Speaking of, she must be starving out there. Here, be sure to feed her. Oh, God. Yeah, look at, <laughs> look at them. They're all the way they're leaning like this. Like, 
<laughs> help! Tongue. Help the cat. All this talk of cats makes me think of Fluffy. Yeah, the one and only. What happened to her, anyway? No idea. Haven't seen her since the fire five years ago. Yeah. I can't shake the feeling that I just left her to die. I really hope she's okay, but if she's not... My love it. Even such a, like, quest about a cat, you're getting a bit of, like, I don't know, like, feelings for Tifa, like, how she cares deeply for a cat. My love this game so much. So good. Hey, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. What? How come you named your cat Fluffy? It's not like her fur was long or super soft or anything. Well, to be fair, I wasn't the one who named her. The mayor gave her to me as a gift for my 12th birthday. When he put her in my arms, he said, this little lady's name is Fluffy, but he never explained why. Don't get me wrong, I was dead set on giving her a better name. But before I could, everyone had already started calling her Fluffy. And the more I heard it, the more I thought, well, maybe it's not that bad. So I let it stick. I wasn't much of a fighter back in those days. Hard to believe looking at me now. It's cute. These quests are really cute, aren't they? That Eva. The, uh, fall on rage. <laughs> Super cool though. And then they make you trip out back out here. Ooh, I'm going to a whole new area. Very interesting. <clears throat> Tifa's 20... 21 or 22. Um, I forget exactly how old she is. Especially because Aerith's around... Do you remember that red bandana Fluffy always had around her neck? Now that you mention it... Believe it or not, my dad made it. With cloth from one of his old shirts. Even though she was my cat, I think he took better care of her. That right. Sorry, didn't mean to bring him up. No need to apologize. Oh, she's 20. Yeah, that's right. Aerith's older, if I remember rightly. But yeah... In a way, she kind of acts younger, I find. A moonstone that I just pick up. Oh, this is the, uh, the path we took in the demo, right? Or the beginning of the game. Interesting. What's up? Heard something. Over there. Let's go. <laughs> I, was about, I was about to make a joke about Barrett saying, Suck on this! still blows me away of how cool this game looks. How you can just tell it's Mount Nibble or Nibel. Not sure about the youngest character. Um, I know Yuffie's 16, but I know Squall, yeah, he's 17, yeah. Oh, sorry, Squall, sorry. Oh, I didn't realize she said Squall. I guess there's technically Realm in FF6 who's like you super young as well. Bro, I knew it. I fucking knew it. Kittens? Guys, look. I can't 
can't believe it. Fluffy? Hey, girl. How you doing? It's me, Tifa. Remember? You're okay. Thank God. Aww. Fluffy, what's wrong? She doesn't look so good. Let's try giving her the cat food. There's plenty more where this came from, so dig in. But how caring Tifa is, holy shit. And these quests are fun though. Cool music as well. This is the music that plays when you're fighting Eligor. Oh, hi. Oh, that's a big mother. <laughs> Queen B. this week to fire yeah, <laughs> damn barrel uh this is gonna get crazy now look at the damage on Tifa in a minute Oops. 
Here we go. Nice. Oh, my chat disconnected. Like He's back again now, though. Do you mind if we head back to the village? You know, if we asked her nicely, I bet that head chef would take care of the kittens. I, I don't want to do another quest where the kittens die like the chickens. So when she said, like, I'm sure she'll take care of the cats, the, she, the head chef, please don't be what I think it's going to be. I mean, don't do it to me again. Both of us, right? Guess we'll see. Come on. Please don't do it. <laughs> Please don't do it to me. I'd be mega sad if they're gonna do that. You've got them paranoid. Look, listen, for the right reasons. Straight too far away from Fluffy and her kittens will and they will lose their way. Keep track of the yeah, keep track of them and stay close to them as you lead them back to the village. Alright, well, I'm ready. You can pet the cat though. 10 out of 10 game. That they do it to cats. Really? Oh, I've got to escort them, right? Is it going to follow me? Oh, it's going to follow me. Okay. You lost sight of Fluffy. No! Come back. Ensure Fluffy and the kittens make it back to the village. Alright, this might take us a while, guys. Oh my god! You can't be serious, game! Can you jump? Oh, you can jump, okay. Oh, and teleport, okay. Am I going the right way? But I really hope I'm going the right way. I am going the right way. We, we need to get to a bridge though, right? <laughs> oh, I think you climb over, right? No, I didn't lose sight. They're right here. Right, over here. Oh, you teleported. Okay, good. Okay. All right, he's teleporting. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Don't worry about it. There we go. Alright guys, so if you need to like go and grab a drink or <laughs> something might be here a little while. Actually there's the banner there's the banner for Nibbleheim, so we're not that far away. Cats can easily climb this up, true. Cats do teleport sometimes. God knows what cat you've got. <laughs> Uh, I think it's Tifa's, yeah. It's called Fluffy, so yeah. Cute how Tifa's walking with us as well. It is cute. Can I escort it back? It's a cute quest. It's not exactly tedious. It's. How about last? Fluffy and her kittens ran off into the village. Follow them. Oh, Tifa's running first, look. Oh my god, look at all the kittens. Don't step on any cloud. Don't step on any. Huh. Guess even she can tell this place is nothing like it used to be. That's probably why she never came back here. What is it? 
Are they off in Cloud's house? Oh, no, they're off in Tifa's house. I'm not sure. Oh, welcome. I'm afraid the staff is on break at the moment. If you're looking Who's playing the piano? She's upstairs. Eris theme. If you're looking for Christine, she's upstairs. You think someone would brief us on these things, considering we're the ones who actually have to look after them. Just look at all these yummy muffins you brought back with you. She gave birth to her litter on the mountain. Oh, sweetling, you're going to be a great mommy. I hope this is all right. It wasn't exactly safe for a bunch of kittens. Couldn't just leave them, so... Don't be silly, dear. You did the right thing. I'll take excellent care of this family. They'll want for nothing. Long I've dreamed of opening if I'm going to take these cats in, they're going to need names. You've got such beautiful white fur. Blanca. Yes, that fits perfectly, don't you think? As for the kittens, we'll decide later. Actually, the cat's already got a name. What? You weren't hoping to hear me play, were you? I'm terribly sorry, Blanca, but I'm a bit worn out after all that excitement. Tifa can play. Cloud? What a wonderful idea. You'll humor us, dear, won't you? <sighs> okay. Just a bit. Hold that thought. This occasion calls for an accompaniment. I know some folks who would just love the chance to perform. Don't go anywhere. That escalated quickly. I wasn't expecting an audience. I haven't practiced since I was a kid. What should I do? Back out? Well, that's not an option. Then I think you better get warmed up. Whoa, okay, Cloud. Whoa, okay, Cloud. Oh, no. Perform in front of the villagers? It's going to be me who does it. Oh, shit. Dude, this quest is fucking adorable. What the hell? Eris theme in practice. Let's have some practice. Can we do it? Can we can we do it though? Also, she's wearing um cycling shorts up her uh, skirt, so nothing there. Oh god. Oh my god, Tifa! <laughs> oh my god, I'm, this is so bad!
That was absolutely horrendous. Let's play again. Rank B for that though? Not bad. That's a hard song. Yeah, yeah, practice again. We need to get it right, okay. The beginning was hard for me earlier. Probably pretty bad at the end there. Uh. One more turn there, just to have it in our heads. <clears throat> I got an A though. Pog! One more time. And then we're gonna do it for the for the for the main thing. Seems better, yeah. <clears throat> you see, G Hard this one though. <laughs> My brain just switched off a minute. That's a beautiful song. Not bad. I'm a bit sad I missed two, and I got a couple of goods in there, but if you get no goods, no misses, and you get all the greats, you get the S rank. <clears throat> all right. It's time. <sighs> okay. 
<laughs> you must play this about else, another iron cyst. They're hard mini games, right? Uh, the piano begin performance even before I mess everything up here. <clears throat> Alright, one more time, I guess. The final time. No practice. Straight in. That's what she said. I'm gonna stop now. Okay, I'm sorry. How sad are you right now? I got one good. One good. I was so close. It's a beautiful song, right? <laughs> Thanks, guys, for the GG. That was really tough. One good. One good. I'm so sad I got the one good. No misses. Holy shit. <laughs> Assured, I'll keep them very well fed. So bring your appetites. <coughs> All right, come along then. <coughs> Playing that piano again brought back a lot of memories. How mom used to teach me while dad was downstairs in the kitchen doing his best, which was pretty good. Hangouts with Emilio and the gang, <laughs> which we kept inviting you to, but you never came. Never? Really? Really? But you seemed fine on your own. That what it looked like? That I enjoyed being alone? You didn't? Of course not. Huh. Guess we still don't know each other that well. Hmm. Well, never too late to make up for lost time. Yeah, that's true. I'm glad we came. Yeah. Glad we found Fluffy, too. I think you mean Blanca. But yeah, I hope she and the kittens are happy here. Dude, what a hell of a quest that was. That was amazing. And like the amount of dialogue 
that there was for just a little mini side quest. Like, you wouldn't believe when you're playing this game and you're doing these side quests how much dialogue that affects story about character building and such. Like, even a little silly quest about finding Tifa's cat. So fucking cool. That was adorable, that quest. Made me tear up a little bit. You might have noticed how some of our patients have number tattoos Brilliant. on their arms. Oh my god. Yeah, I think the longer I'm playing this game, the more I'm realizing how if you're here to visit someone, I think this might be my favorite game of all time. Like, really. Like, it's really good. Check out this watch. There's no finer sound in all the world than the voice of a humble piano. The binding material. There is one track. Um, there, it sounds like there's one more a soundtrack that, uh, or like piano list music sheet, piano sheet music um, moment screen that we haven't picked up yet. But in terms of if the game's ranking the scrolls from top to bottom with the most difficult, I would say that's the most difficult then by the looks of it. Mellifluous melodies are all the more pleasing when played on the piano. Thank you for sharing such joy with the world. I hope you will enchant us with even more splendid performances in time. And I'm going to say something now that I'm, you know, I've, I've mentioned this before. When I started this game, even back in the demo video I've got, um, I never thought i would be enjoying playing the piano in the game i thought oh it's not for me i thought it's cool you know i'm happy that other people get to play it but i didn't think it'd be you know it would be fun for me but it's fun and as you can see yeah on the card game as well i wasn't really too fussed about the card game either um card game's good uh, good even but i'm better at the piano than i am at the card game i'm actually like like without sounding like egotistic here or vain but i'm actually surprised how good i am at the piano like the first couple of tries i'm gonna be a bit rusty but like what was it four tries in the end and i got like i got one good and like however many grits i got so really surprised with that but that is officially all the quests in this area now yeah, it is quite fast paced and you've got to have quite good timing. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Really cool. I, I'm really, I'm blown away. I'm, I really am. I, I couldn't talk more highly about this game if I, if I could, you know. Looks fun, Diatho. Oh, you got spoiled on it. Oh man, that's why I'm like really careful. Like. Like, it's always hard, like, in a stream when you're playing the game. But even when I'm playing the game, I try not to, like, spoil things. Uh, I need to go to Gold Saucer. I did all the hunting for Choco Grass. I think I've just got to go to Gold Saucer to race, I think, now, Ashens. I think that's it, though. I have got other areas of the world to go. Trust me, I have not finished the Gongaga region at all. And I have not even touched the Cosmo Canyon area. And there's some really good side quests there. Um, this island's all done. The Nibble region's now all fully done. Um, some really good headway on the Coral one. It's just more quests in the Proto Relic to do there. But Cosmo barely touched it. So, lots to do still. But I'm going to give you guys a heads up in case anyone does need to lurk for story stuff. This should only be one minute anyway. But there will be a small cutscene here that will be main story, by the way. But uh, most people here should probably be okay with that by this point. Um, so just a, a small recap on what we did yesterday is we met Vincent. And we have met Sid. You can see Sid right above Cloud's head there, look. And... Vincent is not going to join us in a sense of being a party member and Sid hasn't really, but he's been flying us around on his um, tiny Bronco from getting us to region to region, which is quite a clever use of using Sid, to be fair, especially these regions. Um, being able to fly from region to region has been really cool. Um, but they saw some smoke in the distance here, so we need to investigate who that is. And... 
Our main story at this point, Kate Sith, who has had a huge role in the last chapter, told us that we need to find the keystone to get to the Temple of the Ancients. So, in order to get to the Temple of the Ancients, we need the keystone. But we haven't seen the keystone's like a rare item these days, and like not many people have seen it. Blah 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 blah. So, Kate Sith has a hunch that maybe it's at the gold saucer. So, we're gonna investigate the smoke and see what happens from here. The high wind, yeah, we have seen um, a visual of the high wind, but yeah, I do wonder how the high wind mechanic will work. But here we go, look. Is that guy steaming? No, it's some smoke. How the mechanic works is people put up smoke and Sid comes to them and um, he will uh, fly them around, basically. Yes, of course, Mom is going. We'll see, we'll have a good night. Uh, will you have a good night? Have a good night. And uh, yeah, get some good rest. Hey, stood up. No, nope. waiting on you, folks. Something I wanted to ask. About your mother. Her name's Afona, right? Oh wow. Okay. Maybe. So what? How does he know? That sounds like a yes to me. I called it the second I saw you. Boy, am I ever glad I sent up smoke. Tell me, how's she doing? Good? Oh, no. No. She's dead. <clears throat> Dude, the music. You know, the whole reason I joined Shinra was to become a pilot. But I wound up as a gopher for some lazy grease monkeys. Had me running around HQ fixing lights and whatnot. One time, though, I came across a pretty young thing with a little girl in her arms. That was you, wasn't it? Probably. What the hell? Me had with Tonberry. That was what? Calls a smogger, I'd wager. Saucer, just give me a holler. I'm so confused. Is anyone else confused who's not played the game? I was also confused as well. I'm going to talk about why I'm confused. No, it's not even that ash. It's something more important than that. No, his attitude's fine. Like, I don't mind his attitude. I'm more confused because... All right. Law time, but experience expecting you guys to follow along, right? You know why I'm confused? In the OG, as far as I'm aware, Sid doesn't know Aerith's birth mother. At all, as far as I'm aware. It doesn't know even know doesn't even know Aerith. How does he know Aerith's birth mother? And he remembers seeing her, like, Tombri height, apparently, right? That makes no sense.
Who? Sid Highwind, that's who. I'm sure the game will explain to me, of course, but... That's strange. It's a kind of cool screenshot with like all the characters on the screen in somewhere, some capacitor form, right? It's a kind of cool screenshot, right? I just gotta get Kate in there somehow. But Barrett's hiding him. <laughs> I wish I could, like, focus on a character for screenshots. Path 3 is going to be a long way. I don't think it'll be as long as you think, Ashens. Personally, from what I heard, I, I've repeated this a few times, but I'll say it, you know, a few times because I, I hope people understand. But they've, they've stated they're not bringing out a DLC for this game, which they absolutely could do, by the way, because they could do... Um, they could do a DLC with Vincent, a hundred percent, right? But as far as I'm aware, they've stated that they're <laughs> one day's long way. So I what that means by them not focusing on a DLC, it means they can focus full ham on the next game. And I think they'd rather have that. So I think it'll come out a lot sooner than, than this game came out. And plus the engine from FF7 to FF7 Rebirth, sorry, FF7 Remake to FF7 Rebirth was PS4 to PS5. I think PS5 will be the next Final Fantasy whatever game it will be. So I think it'll be out. I reckon it'll come out in two years. Personally. Next year we'll probably start getting trailers about it and stuff. That's my guess. Maybe they'll do a DLC anyway, but I, as far as I'm aware, they've said they didn't want to do a DLC. It's just kind of cool having um, all of our party members here. All on one screen, minus Sid and Vincent, of course. And Yuffie's just not in the picture. God damn it! Can you all just stand straight? <laughs> Aerith's covering uh, Yuffie, and now Tifa's getting covered because of Cloud. Damn it! 2025. Yeah, I think next year they'll start telling us more about part three. Uh, they, they might tease the next name of the game, Stephen, before, maybe in November at the end of the year, but... Breaking news, they're redoing everything in Unreal Engine 5, coming out in 2030. Um, isn't Unreal 5 really bad? I don't think they're going to be using Unreal 5 for anything, right? Wasn't that the one that they used for Forspoken and it completely flopped and cost like squareness like a hundred million? Am I mistaken? I might be wrong. Oh, this game is in Unreal Chat? Is it in, in, in Unreal Engine 5? I thought this was Unreal 4, but maybe I'm wrong. I haven't really kind of kept up with what engines they used. I thought this was Unreal 4, but maybe I'm wrong. I remember the game Unreal as well from that. Oh, I, Ashens, I think. I'm hoping when all the um, parts on PC. Unify the gear and progress. I think um, PC will come out um, this summer, um, Ashens, for this game. I think it'll come out on PC this summer. I think people are going to be getting a lot of what they wish for. It is 4. It is Unreal 4. Ah, there you go then. Oh, is it for? Oh, I wasn't sure. Yeah. Um. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't sure. Um. My my knowledge on that is not the best anywhere. I wish I could line my party up properly so we could all have a screenshot with Sid. Aerith, Yuffie, Kate, Red, can you join us over here, please? <laughs> all right. That one cutscene cost me a eight percent, eight percent um, of my chapter. By the way, that cutscene. Oh man, I've really fucking enjoyed this game.
In the next game, statue is going to be Aerith. Yeah, I think that's probably a good shout, Angel. First game was Cloud, second game was Sethroth. Third game, Aerith, maybe? I'd say, what? It could be Zack. But I don't know what happens in this game yet, so don't tell me. Don't spoil it for me. <laughs> don't spoil. Don't hey, get timed out on banned for spoiling. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the Gold Saucer, I guess, guys. Let's get a move on then. Uh -huh. Now it's Cloud and his motorcycle for the first game. That FF7 remake. Second game was um, 19 inches of uh, Sephiroth, wasn't it? You said that Sephiroth is your foe. I have a history with him. No, I know you are, Deep. Thanks for letting us know that. He bothering you? Want me to give him the boot? Try to screw us over, and you're a dead man. Dude, sick. He's joining us. Let's go. Please, take a seat. Dude, the whole party together. Let's go. Do you think you can manage eight? Ain't gonna lie. That's a tall order for most pilots. Uh. Lucky for you, I ain't most pilots. Oh my god, after five years, we're all finally together in one room. And I'm flying again. Hey Sid, I was wondering, could you tell me a little more about my mom? Oh my god, guys, look. Guys, look at this. Watch this. She took my heart for a spin. Not you, Sid. Aaron. Yeah. How cool is that, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, right? This is so cool. Oh, shell's down though.
Or chapter 11 done, chapter 12. Barrasol in Sid's legs. <laughs> okay, let's start her up. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, but the wings are still broken. And what of it? Only one man has mastered the land, air, and sea. You're looking at it. You got that? Okay, so? So, you can think of me as the captain of your ship. Strap on in and we'll punch through the chop. Aye, aye. <laughs> Let's set sail. Straight through the ravine and on the coast of El Sol. And after that, we hit it. Sounds like a plan. We'll be there before you know it. Let's set a course for Costa del Sol, sir. Roger that. Full speed ahead. Hey, mind filling us in on the Keystone before we arrive? Gladly. About 20 years back, one of my more eccentric colleagues convinced the company to build a museum for his antiques. The reliquary, they called it. Pretty cool, eh? Now, I talked to the company records. The keystone was housed there. Wait a second. I thought you said it was at the gold center. Aye, I'm getting to that. I'm a threat. There was it. Oh, right. So, the museum turned out to be a portal flop. Closed as soon as it opened. But, somewhere, we can cut the river and open up the windows. The keystone vanished into the air. How fucking sick is this? I I do you know I forgot about the Titan Bronco getting shot down. I can see these are the bridge over near Coral Circle. Oh, that's so cool! Look at this. We're gonna be going through here, we can take a left here. Oh! What's here? And then over here on the right. Oh, can I take a left? I'm going slow on purpose right now. If I hold R2 longer, we go very fast low. So I'm just like going nice and slow here. Hey Sid, did I hear right? You used to work with Shinra. Still do on occasion. The boys got their uses. That's gonna be a problem. You see, we don't take kindly to friends of the company. And I don't take kindly to that tone of yours. The man who tries to lord his power over me is gonna wish he didn't. That's what's appealing about the skies. Got them all to myself. Rats can have their race in the gutter. Never much cared for the squeaking anyways. <laughs> I miss the wild blue yonder dearly. Dude, look at this game. How gorgeous does it look? Ah, 
Ah, oh, this is the nibble region. That's super cool. Pretty sure I'd be destroying my vehicle here, but there you go. Yo, developers. For everything else that this game they had to, they really did, didn't they? Yeah. It's so beautiful. Like going through caves and shit. Like how they made this world so detailed is crazy. Like, look. So it's like Nibbleheim here, right? So cool. Oh god. They're showing me they're showing me something over here, look. Oh god. Steven's not saying a word. <laughs> Steven's not saying a fucking word. <laughs> <clears throat> I am not! <laughs> Lips of silver, super glue. Smiley first, right? I could go faster, by the way. I've opted to go slow just because why not, right? You can tell the region's changing and we're getting closer to Costel's Hall. Like the coral area with like the trees and stuff. I'm also missing a bunch of crates by the way, my bad. Hold on, let me go and get those crates, they'll bug me otherwise. Take a turn around here. There we go. I'm installing some loot leaf. Wait, so so about Kate's line closing the borders, is that a thing on the third game? Wait, did I miss that line? I probably did, so I'm probably overwhelmed by this. What did, it, what did they say, Kat? Maybe I can answer that. I don't remember them talking about any borders being closed in FF7 OG. <clears throat> as far as I'm aware. Has a shadow in the water as well. Oh yeah, it does. They don't even mention the war much in the original cat. But there definitely there definitely was a war. There was a Wu Tai war. Which um Elmira's husband was a part of Um before he passed away. Um so in Midgi you'd see quite a lot of uh civilians at the train stations. Um, some dying already, or some uh, finding out that their partner was dead and all that kind of stuff. So there was a Wu Tai War. But they didn't really dive into it too much in the OG. Hey, how are you doing, Rich? Welcome in. Oh, the game's stopping me, look. I was just gonna show you that the thing in the background there... That's gotta be... Way over here, that's gotta be... Fort Condor, right in the distance over there, look. It's gotta be from here. Which means that... 
the world map is actually loaded. Holy shit, that's crazy to me. I don't know, you know, once I'm able to move around in the, uh, the Bronco, if I'm able to go from there to be like that, it'd be cool if you could. But we'll find out. Only invisible walls to the story. Because the game wants me to go to Costello Salt at the moment. I just got the tiny Bronco. I think I'm done trying to compare the OG to remake because I'm, uh, because I'm just gonna be coming along for the ride at this point. Yeah, I mean the the lore in FF7 OG is still the lore. It's still it's still a lot to go by, but just expect the story to be a twisted attorney in the uh, remake and rebirth, basically. And be be incredibly open-minded and let things happen. Like, for example, Sid flying you around and knowing the Falner, like, that's not a thing at all. So, but I'm just embracing it. I'm like, okay, sure, it's a change. There we go. Oh, okay. That's an interesting mechanic. Here we go. Thank you for choosing Bronco Cruises. We sincerely hope you enjoyed your trip with us. Cruises? I thought it was Bronco Airlines. Not after his wings got clipped. <laughs> Seriously, we really appreciate you ferrying us around. You're most welcome. Hey, y'all are headed to the saucer, ain't you? I might could tag along, take in the splendor. Yes, please. What do you think? Yes, please. Of course. Girl always knows just what to say. Am I right? Shall we? <laughs> Wait a sec. Where's Vincent? Up there. Another loner. As if one wasn't enough of a pain in my ass. Yeah, one's more than enough. <laughs> <laughs> you mean me? <laughs> Traveling the globe, now that the tiny Broncos are able to cross the mer <coughs> excuse me, the Meridian Ocean, you can fast travel to any location from the map accessed with the touchpad button. The Tiny Bronco, sorry, to board the Tiny Bronco, speak to Sid at the nearest port or select the vessel from the map screen. Wait, so can I not drive myself? <coughs> the SRC's declaration of war against Shinra was shot. Oh, the SRC's declaration of war against Shinra was the shot heard, where well, was the shot heard around the world and settling folks everywhere? Check the notice balls as you travel to locations both old and new and see if anyone needs help from a hand for hire. The attractions at the Gold Source have undergone a series of renovations, as have mini games available in our regions. Try revisiting familiar locations and seeing what new challenges await. Note that some minigames will not be updated until certain conditions are met. spent their lives at sea, a war broke out between some pirates. I mean, how do you think they came up with Pirate's Rampage? It's based on a true story. How about it? Want to hear? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Gather round and hearken to my tale. 
The four steel birds soared through the skies, and tracks wove across the land. Wooden ships were the primary means of travel. One such ship was crewed not by men, but monsters, aliens, of the high seas. From the fires of war, these pirates emerged victorious, eating crimson waters in their way. The world's oceans now his soul dominion. He took his most prized possession, hoarded it, and sealed those pieces away, along with his four finest mates, to forever stand by. Whatever he hid, this map should point us to the locations in which its fragments rest. The spell he used to seal them away seems to have killed them as well. Though the pirate king's treasure is now ours to seek, four ferocious fiends yet stand in our way. Doubtless, go put up quite a fight. And I, for one, can't wait! <laughs> Did the voice change? To uh, take to the open ocean with a tiny bronco and follow the, the treasure map to recover the long lost relics of the Pirate King. Dude, this is sick. What the fuck? Once you've assembled all four pieces, you can transmute a powerful accessory once used by this fabled swashbuckler. <laughs> it's so good, holy shit. Hey, welcome in Chris, by the way. Yeah, I need to talk to Vincent. Or not. <laughs> or not. I can get a selfie with him though. You have to, it's Vincent. Well, Cloud looks a bit anemic there, doesn't he? If Vincent could just turn around, that would be great. I don't know, I don't like Cloud's expression there. I wish you could have a bit more freedom of the camera. And Barrett's spoiling the view. <laughs> Barrett's just doing his own thing. So cool. Uh, it's actually an adult um, brunette. Um, it's called Max Mittelman, who does um, who does Red Thirteen's voice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, grown adult, yeah. I kind of want to see what it's like to be in the open sea. Give me a minute. You ready to jet? Yes. Give me a minute. Give me a minute, Sid. This is your captain speaking. Outside your windows, you'll see open waters. Be advised there may be some ocean swell. How was that? Oh no. It's getting so dark. Dude, look how fucking sick this looks. Yeah. 
Dude, the fish. They fucking did it! Holy shit, they fucking did it! They actually... they actually did it! So good. Yeah, I drove towards Fort Condor. I left Costa del Sol and was aiming for Fort Condor. I aimed for that island there, yeah. That's fucking insane. And do the highlands right there. That is so cool. What the fuck? Oh, Midgo. How close can we get to Midgo? Probably not going to see too much of it though, right? Mountains and such. Ah, okay. I'm assuming this is pretty much as far as you're going to see of Midgo. Unless that was the June in there. Dude, even the lighting's getting darker like it normally does and the cloud gets the cloud gets foggier when you get near Midgar anywhere. is super confident. I'm loving the dialogue though. Dude, this is so cool. Pirate Jet Sam. Alright, well, let me go any further than here. Is that right? Yeah, okay, that's fair. That's fair enough. Oh, dude, you can see Midgar on here now. Dude, that gives you an idea of how big Midgar is. Holy shit. Have you not seen that before either, Chris? Never saw that? You could see Midgar, and if you have an idea of how big you are, like if you look around and how big you are and how big the cliffs are, that's pretty... That's pretty amazing. Obviously, they're not letting you go up here. It says, at the moment, we can't go past this point, which is fine. I expect some sort of barrier. Look at this straight line for Fort Condor into a left because I saw I saw Junin. You're gonna have to bear with me because I want to go somewhere else now. I want to go somewhere else now. Dude, like Junin is just on the left side. Look. 
Mitsuki's pretty huge. He, do you remember that video? Did you see that video, Chris? I don't know if Steven watches Max either. But did you see that video that Max did maybe even a year ago now? Maybe nine... Excuse me, nine months ago when Max was trying to piece together the world map so we had an idea of how big Mitka would be on the map. Do you guys remember that video? That's why I wanted to see, like, roughly, like, how big Mitka was. Yeah, yeah. He was, like... There were screenshots and shit they were piecing together. That yeah, was back in September. Yeah, that's right. Dude, look at this, though. How cool is it? Look. You watch out. Well, it's so funny. Is it bigger than Earth? I don't know. It's about as big as Earth. I don't know if it's bigger than Earth. They say, like, Wutai is, like, Japan, right? Dude, look at that. I can't believe they did it. Not only did they give us a tiny Bronco, but they gave us a loadless map where you can go from A to B and the, the map loads up. There is a trick behind it, of course. I get it. Like, I know how they're doing it. But it's still impressive, and it's it's completely, like, I'm okay with it, right? I'm completely okay with how they're doing it. Okay, like rocks here, for example. The shallow water. Is this as low as I can go down, maybe? Maybe, let's find out. Coral's like, Coral's like Skegness. Giving the maps more zoomed out, true. There's somewhere else I'm trying to go. I'm gonna see if I can go there first. I may not be able to go there, which is also fine. I high expectations and all, right? No, I'm not. Low expectations that they'll let us do it, but I'm trying to. Oh my god, Sid, are you okay? Yeah, the rocks are showing me that you can go that way. So it is not even invisible walls, it's just straight up, you can't go here yet. And that's okay, I think. I think that's completely okay. I'll tell you what I was hoping to try and go. I feel like they did it the right way though, because like people were expecting like um for us to be able to fly the the tiny bronco, but I was like, but you can't fly it anywhere. So the fact that they're giving you a boat is impressive. Yeah. The detail they put in this game. The law cat, they put a lot of law in this game. It's just that a lot of people just play it and put it down and then that's it. They don't think about the small details that a lot of us who have been grown up with the game get, you know? Like right now, the, the, the map has gone really dark, right? So we could argue and say like, oh, it's nighttime or the weather's changing, but it's lower than the map. You know it's doing that, but that's still okay. It's fine. So... You can see that they're loading it pretty quick. It's really impressive. Look, we're just in the open sea. It's kind of crazy. And there's islands that you can, I don't know if you can get off on them, probably not, but. And you can still fast travel straight from here. So if you're in the middle of nowhere and you want to head back somewhere, you can fast travel, which is pretty cool. Like, that is a tower here, right? I'm presuming... Oh, God, is that the... Oh, shit. I, oh, oh this, the story's scaring me a little bit. The story's scaring me a little bit. <laughs> oh, God, I don't like it saying Keystone. I don't know, it scares me. It means I progress the story. View treasure map. Yeah, we have got a treasure map, yeah. Oh, where does it say that, though? Is it on here? Oh, there. Yeah, there's the treasure map. We have a treasure map, Corey. We can go and have a look at, and hunt around. Oops. 
Oops, my bad. I like how they make you bash into crates in the water. That's also really cool. I want to see something. Can you go into any region and see if tra fast travel is available? I think this is one of the ways that Sid gets some dialogue here, like a little bit of extra dialogue. So you feel like he's more involved with the game. So I like that as well. Um, I know I can fast travel from here to an area though. I like that as well. So you don't have to, you don't, you know, it's not a chore to like bring your tiny Bronco back. You're asking me if I can fast travel from, from any area of the map to the other? Oh, pro sorry, I pressed the wrong button. No, 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 he can't. Oh, he can. Wow. Okay. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, you can, yeah. That's really cool, isn't it? Holy moly. So I can go back to the grasslands now. Dude, make it clear as day in the distance be behind calm look. They don't let you go back to Midgar. They don't even let you get close, Scott. The closest they let you get is here. I'll show you, Scott, what happens. So there's Midgar behind here, by the way, right? <laughs> Chris. Midgar's still on lockdown. Avoid Shinra's checkpoint. Now might not be the best time. That's as close as I let you go. Look, there's Midgar's... Technically, right here. Look, we're here. Look, Midgar's here. Look, and the fact that you have a Meridian Ocean map is so cool, man. Look, so Cam's like here, right? There's Junan. That's crazy, isn't it? Although the pattern I've made in the water, I'm not very happy with. <laughs> but it's alright. Is it too early to be hyped for the third game? No, but one thing I will say, Ash, is with the quality of this game, the love, attention, the story, the everything they've put into it, I hope that makes you understand how... how how good the part three will be and i'm saying part three all the shit that's gonna go down weapons underwater reactor potentially like a live stream like all that shit's gonna go down high wind submarine underwater space wutai everything Exploring the sunken Galenica, everything, dude. It's gonna be fucking nuts. So if you think part two is good, just you wait. But yeah, that's for Scott. That's as close as you can get. Yeah. I'm trying to get a look at Midka from here, but I don't know if I can. 
can't see the midker over here though. I wanted to see it from there, but oh. yeah, it's a hollow. Which you kind, I kind of like think of midker and think of this music now, right? Because it's the credit song, so it kind of makes sense that it's the beginning song of here. So like, it blows my mind that when you first hear this track, it's right outside of where technically where you'd leave remake right i know you start the remake in the in in the cam in the flashback but essentially if you did start here you would hear this music and then that would transition to cam fucking crazy man I'm going to be a big nerd and share something with you guys in a minute. I'm not sure if it's here. And I'm also not sure if it's here. So I'm going to pretend it's both. But you know at the end of Integrate or sorry, Intermission? Where you get out of Chocobo Billy's car and you're overlooking Cam in the distance. And you see the pipe on the right hand side. And you have Billy takes the right path to go to Chocobo Farm, presumably. And then you've got the left path to go to Cam. I think that's essentially here, look. But you're looking at Cam and the right path's there, look. Right. Or could be could even be here maybe. Right. <sighs> Guys, I need to pee. I don't know what I want to do <laughs> in the game right now. I have still got some side missions to do. I'm trying to decide, am I at the point of possibly no return so I can't do other stuff or what? And I'm deciding like how much do I want to go full ham on the story at this point from here? Or do I want to explore some of the stuff? I don't know. Doing quite a lot of stuff though. A lot more terrain, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, they've added in more terrain for sure, yeah. I'd like to think it'll tell you when you're at the point of return. I think so too, Hill. You would have thought so. How many hours we're playing playing the game? Uh, 97. 97 hours. For me. That's my playstyle, right? So. Yeah, I'm in chapter 12. Um, you know, I've, I've still got a chunk of the story to go still. I don't know how many streams it would even be. I don't know. Short game. I mean, I have dilly dally. Like, right now we're dilly dallying for like 20 minutes, right? But everybody dilly dallies in the gameplay at some point, right? You know, using, you know, using travel and stuff. You can do intel? Oh, it's the, uh, the treasure stuff, right? What do I do? I'm thinking. I'm thinking what I want to do. I didn't do any go uh, Cosmo Canyon region, by the way. Like, and hardly any Cosmo Canyon intel. But I don't know if I want to do intel right now. It's nice to be able to explore, then go back to uh, main quests. Nice variety there. Yeah, there's a lot of variety in this, yeah. Um, did they say there's some other quests available as well? I just want to see what quests they are, just out of curiosity. 
Oh shit, Johnny, thank you so much. Bodybuilders in a bind was an old quest I didn't do yet. Gold cup or bust? Billy? Oh, that's the quest at Chocobo Square, right? Trouble in paradise. Oh, okay, so there's another quest here. I do like the quest. I'm a huge fan of the quest in this game. I'm more of a fan of the huge... The, I'm more of a huge fan of the quest than I am of the intel gathering, although that's still fun, right? So... I'll tell you what I'm going to do in the meantime. I'm going to go for a pee. I'm busting for a pee. I go and get another drink as well. Um, and then I'll maybe I'll decide what I want to do. I might press on a little bit more, but I, I haven't decided yet, so... I'll be back. Uh, I'll get away from uh, Chadley's music because you're probably sick of hearing about it. All right. Be right back, my friends. I'll play some ads and get them out of the way too. Just so people don't have to have ads playing when we're playing the game, so... Back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Some water. Intel stuff is good. Yeah, they, they, they're giving you a reason to to explore the regions, yeah. Love the Intel stuff. I really, I, I haven't read the law stuff. I think I'm going to read that in my own time, I think. But there's some, like, law stuff. It's in the... Have this section? Yeah. Where you can read some of the, um, you know, the law, right? Actually, is this, is this intel about... Oh, that's the intel about the combat assignments, right? Oh, this is cool. Oh, I've not even seen this many before. <laughs> I was going to say region intel, like all this stuff I need to read, you see. So cool. I love that they've added this, though. Big fan of this. It says I can scroll, but I can't. Oh, there we go. Maybe I couldn't scroll there. Cool, though. Really good. I think I'm going to press on a little bit more story. I think. Um, 
Worst cases after like when the game's forcing me to go somewhere, maybe I don't. Uh, do you call me Johnny, um, Scott? No, Johnny might have a quest actually as well. He, there's been a few quests for him. Oh, I've got a. Did I not play this person? Really? I missed another person. Did they always pop up? Did I not play him? I bet I didn't play him. Oh, uh, alright. So the game wants me to go to Gold Saucer. But because I've got Sid and Vincent, and it's showing me that I couldn't, a minute ago, I couldn't teleport to Gold Saucer, right? Uh, I can now. I'm trying to debate, would I get extra cutscenes and dialogue if I traversed my way up there with Barrett and Sid and Vincent and everyone? Probably not though, right? Wishful thinking. I just want to make sure I get all the dialogue I can out of Sid and uh, Vincent as well that I can. I presume the game probably just at this point wants me to fast travel there. Actually, let me check uh, my craft and stuff as well. I'm sure there's something I've not made yet. Oh yeah, this. Resplendent Bracer. Alright. Nice. A dry ether. Restores 100 MP. Ooh, very nice. What else can I make? An enhanced resplendent bracelet. Sure. Expeditionary medal. Increases limit level by one at the start of the battle. Oh, King Zoo Feather. Okay. Do that too. That's cool. Okay. Cool. I need Planet Spirit. Now I can make the, the Moist Giga Potion. 3000 HP to all allies. Um, yeah. Missed. Uh, I need to make Divine Howard. I need two more of them. Alright, Planet Spirit. I'm looking for things I've not made to like level up my craft in, right? Because I'm like an 135 away from from Craftsmanship 15. Enhanced Vavados bracelet. I haven't made one. I need a Vavados bracelet. But it says I have an enhanced one. Weird. Pirate's Relic, a compass that once guided an ancient pirate king to both glory and riches untold. Ooh, that's really cool. Passion's ATB gauge into three segments for a short period after using five types of commands. Ooh, that's pretty cool. I am interested in the pirate stuff. I wouldn't mind looking for that stuff. All right. I'm dreading advancing story. I'm actually... The reason why I'm stalling a bit is because I'm actually kind of anxious for it. <laughs> Are you guys ready? All right, let's do it. Oh, over here. <sighs> Time for that favorite music. Up to look for Dio. Will do. 
If I catch you goofing off, so help me out. Uh, Cloud? You got a minute? There's something I failed to mention about the Temple of the Ancients. You might call it a legend or a warning. Uh -huh. You see, no one who goes into the temple ever comes out again. No one. And I'm wondering if you really want to take everyone to a place like that. You said it yourself. It's just a legend. I did, aye, but... Let's focus on finding Dio and the Keystone for now. Fast travel's unavailable, okay. I figured so. Clap through, there we go. Here it is, there's the music. Head Coliseum. Oh, God. It actually feels like you're at a, um, a museum. No, not a museum, sorry. A theme park, sorry, not a museum. Square, Chocobo Square. Like it's actually the arena that I didn't do much of, did I? Oh god, Aerith, what are you doing here? Aerith, what are you doing here? Check it out, Cloud. Can you believe this? Oh my god, Don Cornio. The Don outstayed his welcome in Midgar and decided to set up shop in the saucer. Good joking. Great timing, eh? Interesting. There's an event being held at the Musclehead Coliseum tomorrow. If there's a dress rehearsal today, Dio might be there. We should check it out. What? I got some coaxing powder. Hold on, Aerith. I need to spend my MGP. Oh, no, I spent it all, right? The Gilded Tentacle. The hell? Gold Saucer Squad card? Oh my god. Secrets of Ninja I got. Oh, I didn't get Fortress Untold.
Is that the only one I didn't get? Yeah, I missed one. We hope to see your sinewy self again soon. Oh, they won't let me in here before, would they? Muscle head coliseum. Red corner. Oh my god. Aha! Found him! Greetings, Mr. Director! Hmm. He doesn't look quite right. Oh god. Well, if it isn't your friendly fugitives, you're looking hale and hearty. What happened to you? I made a painful discovery that the Turks are stronger than they look. You, sir, should know better. You're no spring chicken. Oh, no. I know what's going to happen. Speaking of old things, whatever happened to that wee keystone thingy? We need to get our hands on it. Hmm. It was part of your collection, last we heard. Hmm. It was, yes. And in fact, still is. Point of order. My ancestors owned it. Don't you think that makes me its rightful owner? Hmm. A cetera, are you? That, my dear, is a bold claim. <laughs> They're gonna make us fight. They're gonna make us fight because he can't. But still, who am I to dispute your heritage? You may, of course, have the keystone. That is, on one condition. You must take part in our exclusive event, the fight for naming rights. I know. Dio's champions versus the Corneo family. Should my team fall to those rogues, the gold saucer will become Corneo land. <laughs> but look at me. I can barely lift a finger. And here I was lamenting my lot in life when you came along. Tis fate. Nay, divine intervention. What say you? Will you be my champions and go to war against Don Corneo? I'll do it. I'll fight. We win, we get the keystone. Right? As agreed, you have my word. Then we're in. Then we have ourselves a deal. <laughs> Naturally, I want you in peak physical condition for the big bout, so please use my hotel to rest up. Great. I'll jog on ahead and tell the others then. I'm guessing this is solo as well. Rest of the haunted hotel, fast travel is now available. The fate of the gold saucer rests on your shoulders. Don't let me down. Your rooms are in order. Be sure to get a good night's sleep before the big day. The fate of the gold saucer rests on your shoulders. Don't let me down. She really is, isn't she, Chris? Yeah. Her performance was better in this game. Not to take away her performance from the first game, but she did really well, yeah. Should we get some juiced up, guys? Yes, I do. Save as well. Oh, yeah, save as well, yeah.
Yeah, I, I actually kind of said something similar uh, before the game came out, Chris, about Cody's performance. I said that I think that he could, he could probably be nominated. Oh, Jonathan Barrett, yeah. I really think this game will win awards, and if it doesn't get a game of the year, though it's early in the year to, to, to say that, I would be quite surprised. If it doesn't win anything at all, I'd be stunned. I'd actually be stunned. To be honest. Hopefully back later, no worries, Haley, no worries. We've arrived at your destination. <coughs> yeah, I'm interested in it as well, Rich. I'm, in I'm interested in playing that one. Mouth moving is just a small dialogue thing. Just for a small NPC, really? Yang? Really? I have 350 points? Do I? Where did I get them from? Did, did, did Dio just give me them? Did you just give me 350? I swear I had none. Ah, uh, did I? Okay, maybe I, just didn't, maybe I didn't see. Oh, some Giga Potions would be nice. Five Giga Potions, that's tempting. But you know me. Get some cards. <laughs> What's that fapping noise? Uh, Brunette's been left alone for a few minutes. Actually, what? Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, I just bought a few extra cards there. Hello there, Cloud. Are you enjoying yourself here at the Gold Saucer? Chadley, what the hell are you doing here? The park underwent extensive renovations was outfitted with state-of-the-art technology. Even today, the Gold Saucer continues to expand, with new attractions currently in the works. The Gold Saucer is powered by proprietary modular reactors, but due to environmental concerns, the reactors are cycled between active and dormant states to slow Corel's desertification. Don't concern yourself with our research while you're here, Cloud. Use this time to unwind. It'll do you good. Hello there, Cloud. Are you four years ago? Even today, the Gold Saucer continues to expand, with new attractions currently in the works. I can't wait to see who wins the contest. Not now. I'm kind of busy here. Aerith, what are you busy doing? What are you busy doing? Where's the rest of the party as well? The entry deadline for our Dow Arthrosa contest has passed. I hear you'll be taking part. 
part of the main event at the Coliseum tomorrow. I don't know how you know that, but yes. One of your comrades is hoping to spend a moment alone with Clouds later this evening. Cloud's relationship with his allies will determine how this portion of the story unfolds. If you wish to improve a bond with a teammate, complete any remaining odd jobs which feature them before you proceed. You guys want a prediction into who I'm going to get in the date? Do you guys want a prediction on who we, who we think we're going to get? Give me a moment to set it up then. Alright, give me a moment. I need to write them all down. So we've got... Tifa. Aerith. Oop. Aerith. I don't know, I'm presuming red. <laughs> um, I, I don't know if Kate's an option, but I'll put him in there. Kate. Ba Barrett. Oh god, I hope I got someone good. And Yuffie, right? I don't think Vincent and Sid are going to be dateable, right? Two, four, six party members, is that correct? Did I miss anyone out? Please be Tifa, I don't know who I got, yeah. Uh, I think so, because she's got a relationship value, so I guess so, right? <laughs> oh my god, Angel. <laughs> did I get, did I miss anyone out, guys? If, well, if it's anyone else not in this list, I'll refund, right? Um, shall I give you a few minutes? Shall I give you, like, how long do you guys want? Do you guys want five minutes? It's quite a long time. Curie! <laughs> I think two minutes is not enough time. How long do you guys want? Do you want five minutes or two minutes? Apparently, you can't do three-minute predictions. How long do you guys want? Tifa, Aerith, Red Kit, Vincent, so not Vincent, uh, Barrett or Yuffie? Two minutes. Two minutes. All right. Last call before I put in the prediction. You've got two minutes. Who will Neon get as a date? I should say Cloud, really, not Neon, but there you go. Tifa, Aerith, Red Kit, Barrett, Yuffie. Six choices. This is going to be interesting because you've been paying attention to my playthrough. You might have some idea, but I will say that it's not still set in stone. All right. Starting the prediction. Now. Go for it. Who have I got as a date? I'm not going to go back and do any more quests. So... If I missed anyone out, I'll just do a refund, I guess. Got about a minute and 50 seconds to get your vote in. I don't know who I'm going to get. You'd better rest up before your big day. Hundred percent to you for your reckon? I don't know. I still don't know. I haven't gone, I haven't, I have just played the story the best I can and see who I get. I kind of hope I have one person, but we'll see. <laughs> I know I'm going to last about five and a good night. <laughs> oh my god, Rich. It's Defo McG. Have you going to predict what we got here? 63,000 on Tifa, 7,000 on Aerith. 5,000 on red, 4,000 on Barrett, no one saying Kate or Yuffie. <laughs> All right, got about less than a minute remaining, guys. How confident are you? Are you going to top up your bet? 10 on Kate, someone's not sure at all. <laughs> All right, maybe about 30 or so seconds left. How confident? Are you so confident that you'll add 
top up more points? Oh god, there's like 100,000 points up for grabs here. Some for Barrett going in. I see like an extra 10 here, an extra 10 there. Oh, nearly up to 80,000 on Tifa. 12,000 on Aerith. I'm 40k percent sure. What do you do if you're oh five but closed? Closed. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> you put in 78k? Alright. Moment of truth. I will say though, I think a few people have the same value. But let's see. Best of luck to you. <clears throat> I trust you. Knock him dead. <laughs> hmm. what I know what she's doing. Cloud smiling at her. You alright there? How's it going? Not so good. I had no idea you were in a song, right? Oh, I'm not. But I wanted to give it a shot. I see. Well, good for you. Never know till you try. Truth. Who is it? Oh shit. Oh okay. Um Oh shit. Sector 5, Under City, Eris House. Oh god, we have to wait longer now? I could have put five minutes. <laughs> Here. Cloud's all yours. I'll take care of Aerith after. Yes, ma'am. Um... I wanted to read the um the letter on the on the bottom right, but you can't. It's still faded. Low textures in sector five. Makes sense. You don't exactly spend time in Midgard too much. Still cool though. Oh god. Earth sure does sleep a lot, huh? It's better this way. What? Why? Because of Cloud. He's still sick. Please. You gotta make Cloud get better. You gotta. I mean, I'd love to, but... You, uh... You said it's better for Aerith to stay asleep because Cloud's sick. Why is that? Because she'll die if she wakes up. Oh, you think? What makes you say that? Uh. Promise not to tell? <sighs> when she wakes up, a scary man is gonna kill her. 
tries to save her, but he doesn't make it in time. He almost does, but he doesn't. She likes Cloud, so she's happy he came. Really, really happy. But... But... she dies. That's why you have to make Cloud better. If he's sick, he can't save Aerith. <sighs> Marlene, are you sure you didn't just have a bad dream? No. I saw it. Oh, okay. I did! <laughs> Don't worry, I believe you. With everything that's going on, how could I not? Okay. Just one question, if it's all right. Can you tell me what this scary man looked like? Please? His hair was long. And gray. Zack, did you see? They're blooming. Would you look at that? These were always Aerith's favorites. Do you think this means she's going to wake up? <sighs> Maybe. Can always hope. Hey, Elmira. I've got to go away for a bit. Need to talk to someone about Cloud. And who is this someone? A doctor? Well, he's, uh... <laughs> Close enough, I suppose. Well, hurry on back, okay? It's hard enough looking after these two with your help, but without it... Without you, I'd be a wreck. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going by bike. Shouldn't take long. Just keep an eye on him while I'm gone, okay? Oh, and if Aerith does wake up, please don't let her leave. No promises. That girl snuck out more times than I can count. <laughs> Don't let her. Please. I won't. Holy shit. So, for starters, we knew that Aerith had done something to Mali, and we knew that she knew stuff. But also, how Aerith was like this to her, right? In the remake? <clears throat> but now Zack's off to go and find a Hoja?
can see the flowers blooming a bit and the flowers blooming mm, i don't think that's a good sign do you want to know what i think and please do not confirm nor deny anything please don't swear me in anywhere but like the flowers blooming is for me i think a sign that she's gonna wake up soon Possibly. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, God. Zach's going on the motorbike to see... Bojo. I hope that Biggs will come to visit us soon. What's it? What's Biggs' role in this? What's Biggs gonna do? Remember, you can't tell anyone. I hope that Biggs will come to visit us soon. <laughs> it's most likely Hojo. Rexy, true. I tr uh, but I trust her as much as I would trust a savage animal. True, exactly. But does... Does Zack... said couldn't stop thinking about it actually oh shit about how it's up to each, each of us to find our own purpose in life because an avalanche i think i found mine we don't have a whole lot of time so tonight's got to be the night do yourself a favor and steer clear of reactor six <laughs> take care biggs no I didn't. That's not what I meant. <clears throat> Gotta find Elmira. Anyway, time for a date, I guess. If anyone can make that an emote, go for it. I'll make it an emote. Holy fucking shit, scared the crap out of me. Oh my god, these noises! Fuck! Alright. Guys, it's dirt time. Who's ready? Just a big thank you to those who are not subbed who are watching and lurking. By the way, I appreciate you. Uh, I don't know who, who that is, but I appreciate you guys being here. Uh, sub only mode comes off as soon as we beat the game. Tifa, let's go! 
<laughs> Doze off? No. Those pillow marks say different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got me. <laughs> anyway, want to broaden your artistic horizons? Loveless is playing here. And I got us tickets. Sure. After that, we could ride the sky wheel. Right. We missed out on that before. Yeah, but not this time. Let's go. A hundred and two thousand and three. Go to Stephen Mick and twelve others. <laughs> um, I will say one thing though. As far as I'm mistaken, Aerith. Tifa Red I think them three maybe Barrett as well are all on the same same oh my god this music is proper moody isn't it can we leave our sword do we really have to bring it for a date So weird, man. Loud. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> have I gone the wrong way? Wait. Oh no, I have to go to the elevator. Wait, the elevator will let me down. Right? Oh, there, there. Now, now it's popping up. It wouldn't show me a minute ago. <clears throat> going down. Yeah, I did, cat. Yeah. most brutal sword you have i think yes yeah, um should we should we do cannon let's do cannon something a bit more discreet maybe crystal sword looks cool should we go buster sword let's go cannon see you again soon I got the worst data imaginable. Who did you get status? I would have picked Tifa in a straight bet. Because of my lack of side quest, in my player throw I had Sid, Vincent, and Kate? <clears throat> Wait, can you have Sid and Vincent as a date? Wait, a lot? You had Barrett? Wow. If I'm honest, who I wanted my date with, I wanted my date with Aerith because I feel like that's more canon. But Tifa is also my second choice I would have gone for. Because the OG, you always have Aerith as a default, right? So to me, it's more canon for that reason. And like it, it makes sense with the things that she's saying the night before the big day if you like but i like having tifa as well that's pretty good the date was with Aerith. oh i didn't mean to roll oops a uh, uh, tifa was silver's kid tifa was yeah but because affections can change i didn't think it would be set in stone then You, know, you want to do both at the same time? That doesn't sound like a date to me. That sounds like something else. <laughs> you want to get a set? It's this. <laughs> Maybe they don't consent to this arrangement. True. Say. 
Are you here to see Loveless? <sighs> All right, friends. We made it this far. Let's go in. I'm so nervous for everything. I have no idea. So anxious. Oh, cool. They're all in VR. Attention, event square guests. That's amazing. Good make em bloom. That's make em bloom. Please speak to a member of the staff at your earliest convenience. Thank you. Attention, event square guests. Could make em bloom. That's make em bloom. Congratulations. <laughs> Would you like to sing it? Me? I've never seen her look more beautiful. Yeah. She's a real star. But they know it's her as well. Today's performance takes audience participation to the next level. Without 
here we go. Oh, a mechanical metropolis built of blood, sweat, and gears. The city of Gorka. An insatiable machine devoid of pity. Neighbors on all sides fell victim to its hunger, while it grew larger and ever more powerful. The whirlwind of conquest swept up many, including him. Alfred was the traveler's name. In search of the goddess's blessing, he had journeyed forth alone. He flung himself into the fray in the hope of becoming a hero, only to be flung in jail and branded a villain. Oh no! Choose your path! Test your might tutorial! Face your fate! Oh my god! Choose your path! <laughs> save! Can't save now, buddy! Too late! I say let's face our fate! I must away. Release me. My blade thirsts for vengeance. Fear not, Alfred. I've come for you. Rosa, how did you find me? I sensed you were in trouble. Was the will of the goddess, perhaps? Select your opponent. <laughs> the Dragon King Vavados. You know not whom you face, nor that you stand in his dominion. For I am Barbados, the Dragon King. And by the draconic power that courses through my veins, I shall give you ample cause to rue this day. Aww. Pride goeth before the fall, and I, Garn, shall deliver you to hell. <laughs> How shall your feeble aegis fare against piercing fang and keenest claw?
<laughs> so Bravo! good. What a splendid show! So good. Never have I seen a swordsman dance with such grace and skill. The goddess must have seen fit to grant him a sliver of her strength. Perhaps his dreams of becoming a hero may yet be fulfilled. Now then. Ha! Hail and well met, noble Alfred. Though I am but a humble fool, some talent and divination do I possess. Anything you wish to know, I shall gladly reveal. Choose what to divine. Gam's weakness. Your future with Rosa. What is the future if not the product of choices past? Each a fork in the road. None can divine the conclusion of every path. And yet, all tales that begin with a chance encounter share the same end. A tearful farewell. Well, that's enough of my blethering. It's time we set the stage in you. May mine infernal fangs find their mark and taste of your flesh. Fallen and in such disarray. Never before have I seen such hapless swordsmanship. Though lest we forget, the goddess above still smiles upon him, or so we can but pray. Now, without further ado, friends, lend me your ears. Our aspiring hero's and indomitable princess's tale draws to a close. Only one act remains. My God. Parting is indeed such sweet sorrow, but as they say, all good things must come to an end. Though it is our wish that this tale remain with you long after we are gone. So, my friends, will you join us in our conquest of despair? Spectacular. Though our tale be loveless named, we may yet restore hope to this heartbroken world. The Dragon King Varvados fears only true love, and so our hero Alfred will reveal to him its power. He will go to his beloved and proclaim their blessed bond with a kiss. Now, stand before your soulmate and let the world know your heart. Explosion. It has to be, dude. Come on. My love. He's taking his mask off as well. Alfred. Oh, they 
taste the charade. Love is not what an illusion. Yeah! Oh shit, grand finale? Not bad. Not bad. Bereft of wings and broken. I can sign you to the abyss. I thank the goddess no harm befell you. I only hope I served you well in battle. You're a badass, Tifa. <laughs> what awaits you at journey's end, I wonder. Will the goddess grant you her blessing? Or will the flames of vengeance consume you? All shall be revealed, O oh puppet of fate. So dance while you still have time. Dance to your frayed strings break. And you can dance no more. I hold dear are waiting. I don't understand. I cannot. But please be safe. Rest assured, I shall return. You needn't promise that you'll wait, for I know that I will find you here. Kiss! <laughs> Kiss! I tried, okay? 99 nobles were impressed. Welcome in, Beth, by the way. <clears throat> but it ain't over yet, guys. It ain't over yet.
Holy shit, what the fuck? No, I'm a mess, Steven. I'm already a mess anyway. <laughs> wow, Fuck. that was amazing. I can't wait to start bragging. I'm friends with a famous singer. Well, maybe next time you could take the stage. <laughs> Attention! The Sky Wheel will be closing soon. Please line up and have your ticket ready. Well, the night's still young, right? What say we check it out? Shit. Fucking hell, you have no idea how close I was though. Fuck. You're invited to use your tickets to the show for one free ride on the sky wheel. Enjoy a stunning view of the gold saucer and the dazzling night sky. And if you just listen to the lyrics of that song. And then how How beautiful it was as well. And like towards the end with like the live stream kind of like green stuff, right? And you're seeing Big Swedge and Jesse at the top. Dude. What an incredible game this is. Beautiful game. But it's also like listening to that song. You also don't want the game to end or to finish, right? You don't want it to end. You don't want this journey to end. How can you not cry to that? How can you not cry at that? I thought we'd just stop here. I just don't want the game to end. Yeah. Lauren, I think her name is, right? Absolutely stunning voice. <laughs> Start a new game, we can't let it end. I really don't. And you've been hearing me say it throughout the playthrough, like, I'm getting more nervous. And not, not because, like... Just because I'm more nervous, yeah, that's it, cat. Yeah, it's beautiful voice. The choreography at the beginning, 
the whole play was beautifully done. They gave this game a lot of respect. I will play it multiple times, yeah. I probably won't speedrun it anytime soon, but I probably will be playing it, yeah. But you only get a first time playthrough once, don't you, you know? And, like, for those who get it, for those who get it as well, this is game two out of three, so there's only going to be one more game left. As far as we know, right? So, and that's what I don't want to end. I don't want it to end. How can you not cry at that? Fucking hell. Are we going to the event square now? Uh, no, we're going to... Not the event square, the speed square? Which square are we going to? Oh, we're going to the... Oh, I know where we're going. Yeah. Please don't let it be a double disc. I think it'll be three disc, but... Only purely out of the fact that they, um... Can do that. Yeah, it's true. Bitter but sweet, exactly. You've got one game, you've got the game that you're happily playing, but you realise there's only one more coming. And when you're a die-hard fan, you only want to keep playing these games. But man, god, what they've done with this game is incredible. Like, I'm blown away with how good it is. Let Dirge say that. I don't think they'll do Dirge, personally. Maybe they will, but... It could do with a revamp for sure, but I don't think it's on the sky, you know, in the in the limits at the moment. Yeah, pickle. Yeah, I can't I can't see them topping this either. But between me and you and everyone else here, right? I don't think you can top this game. I don't think part three will, right? Because this game's given you everything that you expected from the game. Barring a few small things like not having the Chocobos dance when you get the Chocomog materia or something, right? So, but barring that, they've given you everything. Yeah, it's a little bit of a change of story, but the story's still the same. You know, you're still going to Gongaga, you're still going to the Temple of the Ancients. But you're not going to be able to top the second game, personally. Yeah, they will be focusing more on part three. I've heard that they're not going to be giving us a dem um, a DLC of um, next DLC. Yeah, 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 yeah. Finish the game first, and we'll look at the theories and such. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I don't think part three will top it. And like, like Chris said, I don't think they really need to top it. But they need to, like, like, like Chris says, it's like land the plane, finish off the story, and finish it strong. You know, set out to do what you said you were gonna do, and keep blowing everyone's expectations. Because I think this game has blown every single expectation that anyone's had. Like for those who were upset about small things, but. They're the ones that are not talking about the fact that you're able to go from the tiny Bronco from Costa del Sol to Junin in like a couple, like two minutes or a minute and a half of going on the tiny Bronco in like a almost at least camouflaged loadless map, right? That's crazy. You people don't understand the madness of it. You've been given a fucking world map that they, everyone was saying for years that you will never get that kind of world map. FF15, FF16 didn't have a world map anywhere along this kind of quality. It's madness. So, part three, they just need to finish off what they were setting out to do. I think it's incredibly important to be open-minded with this game as well. And not to be butthurt about the small things that they, you know, they took out of the game, you know. Sure, some, some things would be nice, but it's fine. It's not... The story's still the same, you know, thereabouts, right? Yeah, even the OG wasn't open world. Sounds like a cat meowing. Um, 
Uh, a question though, if anyone knows. No matter who you choose there, is Tifa always Rosa? Or does that change in any particular way? With like your date choice or anything? I'm, I'm assuming Aerith is always the singer. So I don't know about that, right? So I, I presume. Is it always the same or is it different? No, it changes? Wait, is that the no it changes or is that... Really? So in this instance, it, it, obviously it was Tifa, but could that have been Aerith? Then she'll still sing the song at the end? Rosa changes. I had both Aerith in the play and I was done this and the singing. Wow. So who was Tifa for you then, DZ? In the play? Or was that nobody? Yeah, I think so too, Kat. Yeah. No one interesting. Okay. Alright, well, we're not done with our date yet, guys. We've got some more, uh... Got some more cute stuff happening. I'm nervous for this scene. I don't know why. Anyone in chat not seen the date with Tifa? Does anyone not know what they're about to say and stuff? Because I don't. I don't know anything. Not me. You didn't. Do you want no? Why not exchange some of your points and get a gift for that special someone? Oh, you had Aerith. I know nothing. Haven't seen it. Cool. So there's a few people haven't seen it either. Everything's new for me, really. Okay, this is cool then. The perk of watching the streamer play it, right? I looked her up after barracks. I was gutted. Oh no. What, all of them status? Oh, just a handful. You ready for this? A gondola's here. Well, after you. Oh, you first. Uh, Cloud? <laughs> oh, Lord. Think we can steer with this? Worth a try. <laughs> Here goes. Wow. Save. <laughs> hey, over there, see that? <sighs> Being a jockey looks so fun. That's definitely not what the races are like. I guess I'll just have to see for myself. Cloud staring at her. Oh my god. So, have you talked to Aerith? Hmm? Hey, um, Aerith? 
I talked to Cloud. He said he remembers Zack. <sighs> How they were friends five years ago. What? Not yet. Right. Touchy subject, huh? She must still have feelings for Zack. I think it's a little more complicated than that. Hey, it's kind of weird us being here like this, isn't it? Is it? I mean, I guess it is. Kind of. Ever since we left Midgar on this crazy journey, ever since we were kids, even. I can't remember a time like this. A time when we were this close. We should probably head back to our rooms. Yeah, probably. I think it speaks a lot about Cloud though. If he's, at least if he's going for a hug, it says a lot about him. Full disclosure, didn't know anything about this promised land. But I do now, and seriously. Wow, find of the century. You never know. That intel could be bad. Our conclusions are based on a long-standing theory. It's safe to assume the temple and the promised land are one and the same. If the ancient's headed there, then it's gotta be the right place. <laughs> Good thing we let her go. I understand the keystone is to be awarded to the winners of today's special event. How should we proceed? I have an idea. Bring this one home. Your your battle party will consist of Cloud, his date the previous night, and one member of your choosing. Once you and your teammates are prepared for the upcoming matches, speak with the reception staff. I get Oh my god, they put everything in my party. So I automatically get Tifa in my party because we're on a date. That's funny. Um, so something I will say about Cloud here real quick. 
you have to remember a couple of things about Cloud. All right. You may call me silly here. You can think what you want. But at the end of the day, Cloud was experimented on for four years, right? He's only like 21 or whatever, right? So for a quarter of his lifetime, he was being experimented on, right? So he's still kind of in the mental age of 16, exactly, right? That's why he doesn't know how to do cool things. That's why he's always looking like awkward in really silly situations, right? So like... When you think of Cloud not knowing what to do on the date there, it kind of makes sense. I, I understand it's awkward though, right? So you've got to think about that. And like... I guess that the games... I, I know there's people... I think... Wait, Kat, Kat said there's another version of the state. I'm not sure if that's the one where they do kiss and stuff. But I think the game itself overall, I, I thought in my opinion that there would be no canon crush on who Cloud likes. Because the, the, the crush that Cloud has is up to the player. It's who, who you want to choose. That's the whole point. It's leading everyone up to you of who you like. Because it's your journey. It's your, your playing as Cloud. So you get to choose. I didn't choose Era. I'm sorry, Tifa. I chose based on my actions, and maybe I got Tifa more right than wrong. So. I think he went away when he was 14. He left, uh, 14 when he left, when he left Nibbleheim, I believe. 13, 14. I think it's 14, but Cloud tends to think that he, he left at, like, um, 13 or 14. You reckon he left at 16? He didn't leave at 16. He, um... He was in Soldier at 16, right? Or, or like, an infantryman at 16, no, right? Wasn't he? So... No, yeah, that's fair. That wasn't a dig at you in particular, Chris. I was just saying in general. So, whoever's canon is up to the player. So, I didn't think they would... I, I thought after all these years, not, none of it would be settled with an easy, like, oh, Tifa or Aerith's canon. I knew they wouldn't. Be, I, I knew they wouldn't do that. So, yeah, he's experimenting on at sixteen. Yeah, yeah, <coughs> yeah. He left his town at fourteen, joined soldier or infantryman at like fifteen, went on a mission at sixteen. Right, got experimented on for four or five years. Yeah. 21 Van Giel, that's right, yeah. After the experiments, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so... And then 23 for Advent Children, yeah. I've always said it, I ultimately ship Cloud with a good trauma therapist. That's a good answer, Cat. But yeah, um, I wasn't like settling the debate on who's canon and stuff. Like, I was just letting you know that, that that's the way I see it. So, whoever you think is canon is canon. That's how this game is made. It's tailored for you to think like, oh, I think it's Tifa, I think it's Aerith, I think it's this. So, it's basically whoever you um, want it to be shipping. Like, and it's okay to ship, but but some people get really toxic over it, right? Um, as for me, I kind of just chose my answers best as, as best as I could. And I thought I did 90% quite well. I wanted Aerith because um, I've, I'm always seeing Aerith in the OG as like a default, especially with speedruns. And I feel like it has more of an impact when it's Aerith because it feels more... Knowing what happens in the OG, it feels more impactful. It's like the last night, the last final date has a bit more of an impact on it. But it's, it was nice to have Tifa there. I'm glad it was Tifa um, and not like Red or Barra. It would be awkward, I think. But I don't know what the other dates are like. That must be quite interesting. I saw some people the first time you come to, to Gold Saucer get, like, no one. So I thought that that was interesting. So it makes me wonder what you would get for, you know, the next time you revisit Gold Saucer. Or if it's already set the first time. I don't know how it works. So, but whatever it is, I'm happy to kind of play. So, yeah, it looked like it was... It, 
So I've seen it on a few streamers where it, it looks like it's red 13, but no one appeared. But no one like went on a date with them. They were on their own, yeah. 